Well, let's now join Oin Adekunle for the latest in business. Hello, Oin. Hi, Fidelia. So tell me, um, what is making headline? Because I hear experts are reacting to the latest uh, move uh, report from IMF saying that Nigeria should stop a fuel subsidy. What exactly are they saying? Yes, the removal of fuel subsidies is arguably one of the most controversial issues in Nigeria. The recent advice from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to the Nigerian government on the removal of fuel subsidy to reduce its cost has again generated some bit of controversy with experts reacting accordingly. Adeshewa Odushoga has more. January 4th, 2012 is one day many Nigerians will not forget in a hurry. Instead of fireworks, the news of the removal of fuel subsidy dropped on many households like a bombshell. In response, thousands of Nigerians staged a nationwide protest to kick against the order given by the then Good Luck Jonathan led administration. Seven years later, the International Monetary Fund is now advising the President Buhari's administration to remove fuel subsidy to combat poverty in the most populated black nation. Experts have, however, reacted differently to this effect. In the context of Nigeria, we should see it as an economic cushioning concept. And the fact that subsidy has been mismanaged or abused in Nigeria, you know, does not discount it or discountenance it from being a universally economic cushioning concept. And in the context of Nigeria, and based on our peculiarities and uniqueness, or uniqueness in terms of economic indices, we need subsidy. I think the removal of fuel subsidy has been long, long overdue. Uh, for several years, way back 10, 15, 20 years, it was obvious that we needed to remove the subsidy. And the uh, failure to remove the subsidy is the primary reason why we haven't seen a lot of refineries being built in Nigeria. Even the multinationals, the international oil companies, have always said they want to build refineries in Nigeria. If they, can sh if they are sure they can sell the products at an effective economic price, which covers the cost of producing all those refined products. But if you are carrying the cost of producing as a, as a company and you don't have control over the price of your products, then you are not sure that you will ever recover the cost of, of, of uh, producing and, any, and make any profits. Africa's largest oil producer, Nigeria, produces about 2.4 million barrels of crude oil per day, which is exported to be refined abroad. The country, however, imports almost 90% of its refined petroleum products into the country for sale to its citizens. Very soon, People will not buy Nigerian crude oil, despite what we call the sour, I mean the sweet nature, because our crude oil doesn't have sulfur, or is basically sulfur free. So we call it sweet crude. And it is very light, having what we call high API gravity. API simply means American Petroleum Institute gravity. So it's very light, but people will not buy. And that will force us to shamelessly start having refineries internally. And that will be in our positive interest. If we were producing a very large quantity of petroleum products beyond our needs, we would be the cheapest supplier to all the countries from Senegal to, to South Africa, instead of going to Europe to import petroleum products. And so that market is there, which, which was for us for the taking because we have the products in the ground, the crude oil is in the ground. We have now about 40 years generation of Nigerians who have been trained in petroleum products refining. The goal of many private owners is to make profit, especially investing in profit-oriented businesses like refineries. But only few are investing in these business. Even if Private individuals or private Nigerians want to come in and see how they can form a consortium and construct refineries or establish refineries. The government of a country is the biggest guarantor. If Nigeria gives guarantee of credit, 
any consortium that wants to construct or establish a refinery will be supported. The former Nigerian president, Olusha Gwambasanjo, introduced subsidy plan to keep the price of petrol low after the NNPC unified the price of crude oil in accordance with the global market. In what appears to be an unending controversy between the government, the people and oil regulators, the current administration has proposed 305 billion naira for fuel subsidy in the 2019 budget. Adesha Wadushaga, TV360 Nigeria.